Today we're gonna create our own website without any coding experience. First of all, I'm a complete beginner. I just tested around with ChatGPT at the start, then I went to Cloud.net and Cloud Code. And after that, I just tested Gemini a bit with Python code and stuff. But I have really no coding experience. I know how to use PowerShell and the terminal a little bit and do like bas basic coding, like start a local server and stuff. But in the writing code, I have really no experience. So that's why I start this channel. And I want to improve myself. I want to help you if you have no coding experience, but you want to start learn how to code with AI. And I want to do website coding. So website development and maybe a little bit of game development. But I think in game development, AI is not that far yet. So we just start with our own website. And in this video, we're going to do the design part. And in the next video, we're going to deploy the website with buying a domain, uploading the whole website with GitHub and connecting it to Vercel. And then it's all set. You got your own website in two parts. So today for the design stuff, as I said, we just need Windsurf and an empty folder. Then you're just going to start your Windsurf application and you just need to open the website folder. I'm going to show you how to do it just a new window then we can close the old one open folder then you navigate to a desktop search for the website and select it and then you see there is no files in here so it's an empty folder then you just go here current workspace and i'm just going to test out the windsurf ai if you're on the free trial on the win on windsurf you could use any other it's 14 day uh, free trial so you can do with JetGPT or you can do Cloud.net or Gemini if you click here you can try others you can try as I said Anthropic, Cloud.net, Gemini, Grok, DeepSeek so it's even for free so you could try other AIs if you want to do it but today I'm gonna do the Windsurf AI because it's completely free and if you if the free trial expired you could just use uh, this AI. So I'm gonna only use this. I don't know how good it is. It's my first time trying it. But for the website, we're using Next.js. We don't do uh, HTML. We just start with Next.js and JavaScript or TypeScript. I don't know. We, we will see how the AI will handle it. And yeah, let's start coding the website. I just try to create a good prompt with a Gemini 2.5 Pro. So you could also write create a Next.js website in here and then add this, add that and create a button where I can link my YouTube channel or create another page with an about me section or create a portfolio like with a image gallery or I don't know, whatever you need. But I try to do only one prompt so I did a little bit of work in uh, Gemini to create a prompt and hopefully it's going to work that we only need to insert that one prompt and the Windsurf AI will create all the necessary stuff and we only yeah, need to insert it, start it and then it's all done. Let's see if it works. That's my prompt so far. So create a personal website for my YouTube channel, MaxDevAI using Next.js, that's like Next.js is the critical point here, if it could uh, use it or if it just creates a normal HTML website, I don't know if it's possible. With Gemini it is, but I, like I said, I never used this AI. Then I just gave some instructions like Tailwind CSS, a modern clean professional dark theme, then it should link my YouTube channel. so. I have the link here and it should be like a button on the home page where it says my YouTube channel or watch on YouTube and it's this link. Then we have my first project, so the personal website and some details. Then it's just like a future project. So that, that's a placeholder and in the footer section 
we just got like text and the YouTube link again. Maybe we could, oh, it's a social icon, okay. Maybe it even installs the hero icon, I guess. Okay, let's see what we got so far. I just got the initial prompt. Then you just have to accept all the terminal comments right here. And you see it's creating the Tailwind config, so that worked. And then you just have to just click accept on every one of these. So it's creating the NXJS installation and stuff. So you just accept all of these. Then you see it's created layout, global CSS, theme provider, and that's the homepage. So then I just have to click one time continue because it just stopped. I think the context window is over from that AI. So it's just got a pretty small context window. So you just have to write continue or click it. And then it's going to continue. And then it says it just got a... Um, it's facing an execution policy rest restriction. So this is in PowerShell. It's just normal. I don't know how to fix it yet. So you just copy that and then you search for the comment prompt. So that's the, I would say, normal terminal at Windows, at Apple or Mac. It's just a terminal, I guess. It's just called terminal. And then you just have to copy that code. So then you have to hit the npm install. Then it's working. You see it here. And if that's done, you could just start. Yeah. Okay, you have some warning, but I don't know if that's. It's just because there are old versions, I guess. But we can update it later. Let's see if the development server runs. So we just type npm run dev. npm run dev like you said, and then it should start. Yes, then you just go to Google Chrome or any other device. And you just type here or you just copy it, the localhost 3000. That's like the standard value, it's 3000. You can change it to every other value. And you see some critical errors here, so, okay. You see you have a component error, and let's see how to fix that. For this, you just copy, what's, what's it saying here? Or you could also copy this, it's pretty much the same. You just accept these files. And then da, 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 you just say fix this error. I can't start the server. And then you just copy it and enter. Then you see it's working. You can press Control and C. And then you just out again. Let's see if the windsurf I could fix the error. Okay, it's okay. It's done. So you can just write npm npm run dev again, and then you see it's starting again. Then you just have to reload this site, and it's again it's a critical error, so you cannot start it. Then you just copy that again. And you just have to go back and forth with these critical errors until it's all solved. What it's saying this time. Okay, let's try it the third time. Maybe it's working now. Let's watch it. Okay. Nice. Right now we got a working website. 
it's not looking that good. It should be, yeah, it's it's okay for the first website. It's kind of nice. It's okay. But I like this section here with the Next.js Tailwind, so you see what type of stuff I use. And then you got here the links. That's nice. That's with the hero section, I guess. A uh, hero icon. And you got to watch on YouTube. And now we will see if it works. Okay. And it's working. So the context window looks good. It got all this stuff. Like this is. Okay, this is just placeholder website. It's even a link in on and placeholder, placeholder. Your username AI block, okay, that's crazy. But we just can fix that with a simple prompt. Now I would just say we try to improve this website a little bit in design. Design wise, it's not the best. So, okay, so I put in this prompt. So just improve the design for the header section, because as I said, I don't like the header section here. And then insert a section with an animated console. So I would like, because it's about coding, just like text on the on that side here, and then here an animated console where it's like writing code or anything like that. If that's working, would be pretty insane. And you see with the UI, it got the animated console. So here is some some code for that, and the project card. That's this for example. So. Every project, if I add a new project here, it will all look the same. And you see like the text stack I use and you can view it on GitHub. Like if we just add our real GitHub profile here. Let's, let's see if the design implementation just worked. So we just run it again, reload the website and see what it did. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. And this is looking like a real website now. And just the uh, YouTube button should be in black, I guess. But the rest is looking fine. I like it, I like it's highlighted. The button here, nothing changed there. But I guess that's a good website. Like it's not animated. Did I write an animated console? I guess, yeah. With an animated but if i reload it's it's writing right uh, it's it's kind of animated okay i get that at first we got these warnings here and we just try to fix that we just copy all of these and go back to windsurf and tell it to please install new versions and then we just copy it okay right now we need to hit the npm install again and I guess we have to remove it oh, what what is this code about I guess it's just removing the old versions and then installing the newer I guess it worked so we just install all of this stuff again and we see if we get some warnings or if all it's gonna work fine okay it's like still kind of old so I just try to fix that error it's it's not a critical error you can still start a website but you better have these fixed so I just try to fix it again okay right now we got an error and that's not good so if we now try to start the site I guess it's not gonna start yep so right now it's like critical error if you have a warn it's okay you can still start all the, all your stuff but it's like warning you you have an old version or you're just using stuff you should not use and if you have an error here it's like not working so we just hit this stuff again and I just say fix that then we should have old versions again and as I said, we could fix this with with another AI, like Gemini, ChatGPT, Cloudsonet. You could use whatever you want. I think 
in solving this file all AIs should be fine but I'm pretty happy with the design of this website like with the color with the background with this text color just the YouTube watch the YouTube button is a little bit goofy right now because it's just like this purple and blue design and this YouTube button is like a little bit not matching but the rest of the website looks fine and for the first website I guess it's okay npm install again or we should just use the old we try to install it just maybe then it's overwriting the other stuff yeah okay I guess it's working now but we still have old versions so then the windsurf AI is just trained on on old data I guess and we just have to fix that with another AI but right now we just try if it's still working so we reload it here and we see it's still working we can just delete that and yeah just for summary if you get comments like this and they are not working in your console because it says not found or I don't know like we had here and then you get another comment and it says like again not found or it's a critical error then just try a little bit yourself because I just hit like this said it couldn't find it and then I just said npm install and as you see here I just hit npm install and it just created the old version again and I guess it removed this one so even if we got only fails here when I hit this comment because these comments were not found it just worked again so I could start the website again as you see here and it's all working fine so you just have to try a little bit AI is not perfect and yeah you just have to try a little bit out what's working and what's not because this comment was not working as I said before this comment was not working so you just try it out yourself this <laughs> was not working either and then I just hit the npm install and it all worked again okay right now we got a working website even if we got some old packages here but you could update this with another AI like Gemini or any other AI because I guess this AI is just trained on old data and it cannot update this this files but it's okay it's working fine you've got a fully accessible website it's all working in my next video I'm gonna show you how you buy a domain and how you deploy the website fully with github and vercel and then we're done that's all it is just the bug fixing or the yeah the bug fixing is like the biggest thing and you should not be frustrated as you see we got some errors here if you look at this we got some errors and we try to fix some stuff but that's normal if you code even if you code with AI of course AI is not perfect and some mistakes happen I will see you in the next video like and subscribe if you like the video and see you next time